My name is Nancy. My name is Arlene. And we're environmental educators with the Green Belt on Staten Island. And today we're going to talk about life cycles. Hmm. Life cycles? What do we mean by life cycles? Well, I don't know. Everybody starts out as a baby, right? And babies are grow and they become children and then they become adults. Now, do you think you look the same as you were when you were a baby? Or did you change? What do you think? I think some of us change as we get bigger. We grow, we walk, we talk, and even our physical appearance. Yeah, we get taller. Wow. Okay, so we're going to talk about some life cycles of the animals that live here in the green belt. And we're going to start out with an insect. Okay, so now we're going to be talking about some animals that live in the green belt. And one of them is an insect. And the insect that's here is a butterfly. What I have is a monarch butterfly. Monarch butterflies make their way all the way from South America back to Staten Island for the summer. And this monarch butterfly starts out as little eggs, and then it changes and becomes a caterpillar and eats and eats and eats until the caterpillar then metamorphosizes and changes and becomes our butterfly. So the butterfly, well now we're gonna read a little story about the butterfly and find out exactly what the different stages of the butterfly are. We're going to read the story. It's called A Butterfly is Born by Melvin Berger. Uh, and we have, it's all about a beautiful monarch butterfly. But first, some of the butterflies that live on Staten Island, and they are beautiful insects, and an insect has six legs and three body parts, a head, a thorax, and abdomen. Here's a tiger swallowtail a red admiral, a little blue, and a monarch butterfly. We have such pretty insects, don't we? Okay, so here we go. Butterflies are beautiful and they fly from flower to flower drinking nectar with their long tongues. And right here, you see its proboscis, its long tongue drinking up that sugary water. Hmm, sounds good, right? But a butterfly doesn't always look like this. A butterfly begins its life as a really tiny egg. And we know that these are magnified and they're larger than, so they're very tiny. Oh yeah, look, this is really how they look. But just for the picture book. So what happens is, after a while, in a few weeks, the little caterpillar is eating its way out of the egg. And here it comes. And you know the outside of the egg is a snack and it gives it energy. The young caterpillar is very hungry. See, it's eating its shell. Hmm. And it's not like an egg shell that from a chicken. It's nutritious. Then over here, it starts to eat leaves and it eats many, many leaves. And you can see how large it's getting. And what do you call those? Stripes? Those look really nice, different colored stripes. Beautiful. Wow. And it's eating a milkweed plant. The caterpillar grows and grows and grows. Look how big this caterpillar is next to the smaller ones. Now the caterpillar is ready for a change and it hangs from a branch. Hmm, I wonder what's gonna happen. Slowly, the caterpillar turns into a pupa. Look at that. What is going on? It forms a hard shell. How beautiful. It's called a chrysalis. And it's going through something called a big word, metamorphosis. From outside, the pupa looks very still. But inside is much, much is going on. Can you see what is happening to the pupa? So look at that. It looks a little, it's getting what? Clear. It's getting crystal clear, chrysalis. 
And here, look, after some time, out comes a butterfly. Oh my goodness, it changed from a caterpillar into a butterfly. Almost like magic. The butterfly's wings are wet and crumpled. But in a few hours, they will dry out. And see, it, it actually moves and, and vibrates and pumps blood to its wings. And over here, it says, now the butterfly's wings are strong and dry and the butterfly can fly. All right. And you can see where it came out of, the chrysalis that's left on the milkweed plant. Bye-bye. Where do you think this butterfly is going? Maybe it's going to your garden or maybe it's going to the grain belt. I'm looking forward to seeing them. Okay, everybody. So we heard a very nice story from Nancy about the life cycle of a butterfly. And that was a really a lot of information that we got. And the pictures were beautiful. But now we want to go over and review and see how much of it we really remember from the story. And the first thing I want to ask you is, how does a butterfly start? What do you think, Cecilia? You're right, Cecilia. It starts out as an egg. Well, this picture of the egg on the leaf is really, really large. And butterflies do not lay those big eggs. So what I want to show you is what a real monarch butterfly's egg looks like. And they're tiny, tiny little, little, little dots of eggs. Next. After the egg is laid on the leaf, it then comes out, emerges from the leaf, from the egg, and it becomes, oh, that's right, a caterpillar. And a caterpillar moves along. First it eats its eggshell, and it moves around on the leaf, and then it eats part of the leaf so it can grow. And it eats and it eats and it grows. It, it sheds its skin and then it grows again and it grows again and it grows again until it gets to the right size. And at that point, it then stops and it waits. And it waits patiently and hangs from the leaf to form this chrysalis. And inside this chrysalis, many wonderful things are happening. And what do you think is happening? It's changing, it's metamorphosizing. It's no longer going to look like this caterpillar, but it's going to become something really, really beautiful when it comes out. And that is our butterfly. And we know that butterflies are insects because all insects have three body parts. They have the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. And they also have six legs. And then they have these beautiful eyes called compound eyes and antenna. And this beautiful butterfly also has wings. It has two sets of wings on each side. And the colors that we see on these wings are orange and black. So we know that they're monarch butterflies. And when they do come out, they like to fly around and drink nectar from the flowers. Monarch butterflies make their way all the way from Central America, South America, back to Staten Island in the springtime, the end of the spring. And they look forward to seeing them throughout the summer. And then they make their way back in the fall. So I hope that you get to see these beautiful monarch butterflies either at the green belt or in your own backyard. And now we're gonna pass it on to Nancy where she's going to speak about some other little animal, which is a amphibian that lives here on Staten Island and in the Greenbelt. Thank you. Okay. Well, we have some other life cycles that we could talk about. We're just gonna talk about the frog. We have a lot of frogs in the Greenbelt. Bullfrogs, spring peepers, gray tree frogs, green frogs, and they are amphibians. And an amphibian is an animal that lives amphibious, which means living two lives, both in the water and the land. But they have a life cycle too. 
So if you want to look closely at this little container, it's kind of hard to see, but they lay eggs too. They lay eggs and then they will start growing once they emerge from the eggs. And right here, look at this. It has a, a swimming tail. They stay in the water. And eventually as they grow, they will get arms, front arms. And you could see that their tail is shrinking, smaller, smaller. This one here, a froglet. Isn't that a fun word, froglet? And then in the end, here's the full adult frog that can come out of the water. But they do like to stay near the water because they need their skin moist. And this is a small frog. It won't get any bigger than that. There's all different types of sizes of frogs. Okay. Andy, what mm. do frogs eat? <gasps> What do they eat? Well, they can eat, it depends on their size, they can eat algae and small plants and animals when they're really young. And as they get larger, even the bullfrogs can eat ooh, insect larvae, like dragonfly larvae. Oh, yeah, a lot of water bugs. Oh boy. Okay, so we're going to play a game here. And it's a life cycle game like the butterfly. And let's see, what comes first? Does the frog with the legs come first? No, I don't think so. Oh, Jessica, you know. Jessica, what do you She's think? She's right. It is the eggs. They're not that big. They're just blown up so we can see. Oh, hello. <laughs> okay, so frogs are in eggs, jelly masses of eggs. Look, that's the little frog before it develops and comes out. Now what's going to happen? Hmm. That's right, the tadpole stage will emerge and swims around with its tail. And there's its mouth and its eye. And then as it gets larger, it has hind legs. And then it grows front legs. And a little later down the road is our frog. And that looks like a, oh, I don't know, bullfrog. Who knows? All right. Well, thank you so much for stopping by, and we hope to see you soon. Thank you again. Enjoy your day.